Hi guys, it's Horsey Steph, and today we are back with another Horse Trainer Reacts to Horse Bunnies. So exciting, ready to get my laugh on and just enjoy this clip with you. Hopefully it is as epic and hilarious as the other ones have been. Before we jump on in, if you guys could go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos, that would help me out a ton. And let's go ahead and jump on in and get ready to start laughing. <laughs> oh, that horse is itching its butt on a wire fence. <laughs> With the music they've added to it, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Obviously, I've had horses do this. Horses will scratch on just about anything available to them, and wire fences are no exception. They love the feel of it, hate when they do it because they can really cut themselves on it. It's not a very safe place to scratch, but horses don't really think that far ahead. They think, oh, I'm itchy, this seems fun, let me scratch here. Um, so they do, and so sometimes they get cut. They also break the fencing down, so that's a really, really fun thing as well. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, this is more fail. You might as well let go at this point. I mean, uh, the horse is not gonna stop. They're just taking you for a ride. It is really important that you teach your horses how to lunge correctly, and this one obviously does not know how to do it, so the horse turned to the outside, pulled the rope, and at that point, you have no leverage. There's really not a lot you can do to solve the issue of the horse, you know, taking you for a ride and dragging you around. Um, you might as well drop the lunge line at that point and just work in the area as if it's a massive round pin until you can corner the horse and then eventually catch it. Keep it a lot shorter and work on its halter manners so that it learns to always give to the pressure of the halter, not pull away from it. But instead, she's just going to uh, go skiing behind this horse until eventually she runs into something or wipes out and gets drugged or, you know, whatever else is gonna happen. <laughs> oh, she let go. I mean, that, that was a good idea. There was no saving that, really. Eventually, she was gonna, gonna have to let go anyway. That's pretty, pretty special. Very, very cute. So much hair on that horse and to have it be able to rear on command with this little child up on it and the child be able to hang on. I'm sure they got an epic photo from that, which is I'm sure what they did it for was for the photos. This is so, so tiny. So, so tiny. I would be addressing that kicking though again. Um, I don't care if it's tiny, little, and cute. If it's kicking at me, I would be addressing that because that's a short way of getting into trouble with the horse. Not a cool thing for it to do. And as it gets bigger, it's gonna keep kicking and the kicks are only gonna hurt more as it gets bigger, even if it never gets that big. Some more kissers. I've never seen horses lick each other's mouths like this. So I don't, I don't understand why they would do that, but it's pretty freaking cute. Oh my god. That was a pretty dramatic fall considering what that horse was doing. Like nothing that crazy was happening and just like levitated up in the air and fell. That's pretty funny. Oh no. Poor little mini. Got up like nothing happened, but God, that had to have hurt. Just like slipped on the mat. I'm sure that this mat was quite slippery. It's kind of my biggest problem with rubber mats. They can tend to get very slippery. And when horses pick up any speed, their feet can just slide right out of under them. Oh, see, this is why you teach horses not to kick. Because there, the horse was upset. It just wanted to move the person. And when they didn't move, it turned its ass and kicked at him. Um, and I'm sure that hurt real bad. Looked like it was aimed right at that man's poor crotch. I can't imagine what that would feel like, but train your horses to be better. This should be something that never ever happens. It's a good shot of this horse galloping. It looks like somebody might be driving on the road while filming. That's pretty cool. I mean, props to a very well done film. Uh, I've don't have the area where I could think of doing that or people that would want to do that with me, but you can get some really cool shots that way. <laughs> no. A horse just 
just like, oh, I'll jump my front then. No, never mind. But then he was like stuck and couldn't get out of it. <laughs> Poor guy. I mean, I do feel bad for him. That didn't seem very comfortable. <laughs> Poor thing. Got hung up on the fence. Oh my. Oh, barely stopped before that gate, man. And then that angry pawing. I think that mini wants in real bad. Maybe it's dinner time. I'm not sure what it is, but angry, angry man. I am shocked that he was able to stop before that gate. It is really impressive how close he cut that. That's impressive. I mean, the matching black team with the feathers and that huge ground covering trot, super, super impressive. Uh, not funny, but cool. Oh, I love when horses do this. My gelding does this, where he'll groom my back when I groom his. It's so cute and so adorable. I absolutely love it. I know a lot of people discourage this. I do not, as long as they are only using their muzzle. Anytime they want to go in with teeth, I'm like, yeah, nope, hard stop. Don't use your teeth on me. But with their muzzle, it's really cute. Plus, it feels like a great back massage, honestly. Best massage I can get for absolutely free which I just love, because my back's always killing me these days. <laughs> I guess that wasn't the intention at all. The girl just opened the door and the horse was outside, and he's like, okay, I'm coming in now. I would guess he's been in the house before with how you know easily and quickly he just marched right in there, but <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah, check out his the mirror in the bathroom. He's like, who is that? <laughs> that's pretty funny. I'm sure he's trying to decide if that's another horse or not, and uh, just like figure out what is that in the mirror. Maybe he's never been in the bathroom before. Maybe the door wasn't open last time he was in. Oh, don't say hi to the cat. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, they're friends. Oh, it's adorable. I figured that cat was waiting on top of the fence to like scratch the heck out of that poor pony. That was really, really cute. I should trust cats more, but I'm sorry. Like, I feel like a lot of times they're just convincing animals to do dumb things and getting them in trouble for it later. <laughs> these minis, especially these young minis, I think it's another baby in the blanket. It's just so, so cute. Oh, the attack of the chickens. Oh, and I think this horse is both upset about them and also scared of the chickens. So he's like, not really wanting to push the chickens away. Um, I used to be at a barn that had like a horrific ground squirrel problem and we'd have this issue with the ground squirrels. They would just eat out of the buckets. Um, some of the horses would get really pissed and like chase them away every time they came near. Others were just like resigned to it and would eat with the ground squirrels. Um, but this one is like, seems scared of the chickens. So he's like not really pushing them away. Which means he can't really get his food, poor thing. Oh, so cute. Oh, I love these babies. They're so, so cute. It's just adorable. And the mom's like, hi, how are you? This one looks like just born, so, so young. Oh, the dog is gonna steal a little. <laughs> My dog will do this, um, absolutely will do this. I think that this horse has a history with this dog and is probably quite mean to the dog, which is why the dog is being so very cautious and like, let me just really carefully creep over here and see what you do. Because I don't want to be, you know, eaten alive. <laughs> but he really wants the food the horse is eating. <laughs> this horse looks like he's having an absolute conniption fit. Oh, about the goat. Oh, that's so cute. I wonder if this is like this horse's companion animal or something and he like can't handle not being around the goat. That's so adorable. So, so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, I don't think that they're companion animals. But it's really, really cute. That was a really cute way of greeting the little goat. 
This is classic horses meeting that either don't know each other or haven't known each other for a long time. It looks like these could be wild horses. That's a similar reaction that you might get with wild horses meeting and just getting a little defensive and territorial and like get away from here and starting to kick at each other. Um, but normal horse behavior, especially for more dominant horses. Again, so, so cute. Oh my goodness, he like just doesn't know what to do with himself. <laughs> that is a gorgeous color. A nice horse too, like legitimately really nice. Wow, I'm impressed. I mean, I'm a very picky horse person. That is a nice horse. Not for what I do, but so nice. Oh, what a jerk. I feel like babies do this a lot where they're like super, super mean to their moms and everything around them. And you know, this has got to be his mom that he keeps kicking out. Like he's upset, he doesn't want to be here anymore. So he's gonna take it out and just kick his mom. It's so rude and so mean, but so many of these mothers put up with it. I wouldn't be that nice uh, as a mother. I'd be like, you know what? Uh, no, knock it off. But a lot of these mothers, I just think they get so tired you know what, fine, just, it doesn't hurt that bad. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Another one, like, just attacking his mother because it's bored and it has nothing better to do and the poor mom is just like, please leave me alone, let me eat my hay. So it'd be a good reason to have this baby out with other mares and foals just so that there's less of this, you know, pent up energy that just like wears the mom down. And the downside of the mom not setting any boundaries for that foal is that foal learns from a very young age to push and get aggressive with uh, anything in its environment that frustrates it or anytime it is frustrated. Instead of learning how to cope properly or learning to be respectful of others, it learns to just like, oh, I'm upset, let me go attack you to make myself feel better, which is not a healthy, way of handling any behavior, any emotion. It's not a healthy way of existing in the world, really. Does this mare have twins? Oh my God, they're adorable. I assume those are twins. Oh, it's so cute and so precious. Um, a lot of people will make sure that they don't get twins just because it is very risky on the mare which makes it just so much cooler when you see them alive and well. Obviously, like, it is really risky, so I get why people prevent it, um, but it is really, really cute to see two babies on the one mare. Oh, he's gonna go. Oh, maybe not. So this white one got out, and now they're trying to catch it. <laughs> he just doesn't know what to do with himself. I bet this horse lives in a stall normally. I mean, he just looks like he has no idea how to handle this terrain or anything. He's like, uh, what to do with my feet? Let me just keep running. Because uh, I'm excited and I don't want to be caught, even though I just literally don't know what I'm doing right now. This seems like a really dangerous way of getting on a horse. And she doesn't even have a helmet on, which is very worrisome to me. But... Um, the horse looks really quiet at least, so good for her for being ambitious and finding a way onto this horse. But again, like you shouldn't be getting on a horse while it's tied to the trailer. You shouldn't be getting on a horse from a flimsy bucket. You shouldn't be hanging from the horse's side, attempting to climb up its side. All of that is just so, so dangerous and seems like a terrible idea. Um, so many things could go wrong. This horse could, you know, slip and fall or anything and seriously injure the girl. So I would not let my child do that, even though, you know, even though she clearly really wants to ride and the horse seems well prepared for it. It's still too many things could go wrong and it could absolutely kill that child if they do. Risk is too great. Reward is too little. Oh no! <laughs> That horse just went right through the round veil. He was not even paying attention to where he was running and just bowled right over. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a really good one. <laughs> oh my goodness.
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that segment of reacting to horse bunnies. Uh, another really good one. Uh, man, that last one where he went through a pound bale. <laughs> that was hilarious. Just absolutely to die for hilarious. Lots of really great ones in this segment. So as always, I hope you enjoyed. I hope it made you laugh and made your day brighter. I do this series every Wednesday at 5 p.m. If you guys enjoy it, leave a comment down below, hit that like button, subscribe to me. I release new videos every day. My full schedule can be found in my channel's about section. This series comes out Wednesday at 5 p.m. So tune in, check out the playlist in the description box down below if you missed any. And have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.